We're here today in uh, Clonmore in Carlow in the seed plots of the Chagas IPM potato breeding program to discuss virus control in uh, potato crops. Um, the virus situation has changed a lot in Irish potatoes over the last 20 years. We typically had five main viruses which were included in the certification scheme, leaf roll, uh, X, S, S, A and Y. Uh, with the change in varieties uh, away from Golden Runder and Curse Pink and some of the older varieties, many of the viruses have become less common and Y, S and A are generally the most uh, visible viruses now. Of those, virus Y, both in Ireland and globally, is by far and away the most serious virus of potatoes. In terms of identifying uh, potato virus Y in potato crops, it's much more difficult than it used to be. Uh, there's a new complex of potato viruses of potato virus Y strains which are present uh, not just in Ireland but across Europe and the rest of the world. The old YO strain was very very easily noticeable because it had very very uh, definitive symptoms but the new strains are recombinant strains uh, are, are much more difficult but under the right conditions they can still cause yield loss and, and tuber deformations. We have an example here of a seedling uh, where there's a healthy plant and a plant which is infected and you can see here some of the rugosity in the leaves and a certain amount of uh, yellowing in the leaves and crinkle and also some mottle on the ends of the leaves towards the healthy plant beside it which uh, has none of these symptoms and this is a secondary infection this has come from the tuber in the crop in 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 in, in the year beforehand uh, with uh, warmer summers and drier conditions virus spread uh, is, is, is much more likely to happen. Virus Y is spread by aphids, which uh, they don't have to acquire the virus persistently. If a virus lands on an, or an aphid lands on an infected plant and probes the plant, uh, it immediately acquires the virus. And if it jumps to a plant next door to it uh, and probes that plant, it can infect that plant. And when plants are at this stage, they're much more susceptible to virus infection. Some of the ways to control it in seed crops are to rogue the plants uh, which have virus symptoms in them, particularly uh, plants like this, and remove them from the crop. And this is a very good stage to do it, to catch uh, infection from the previous year uh, and remove it from the crop. And also there's much less material to move from the crop. Virus are, is, because of the mode of transmission that I've described for virus Y, insecticides are not as effective as for other viruses in terms of control, but it is important to keep aphid numbers low in the crop. And the, the, the aphids which transmit the majority of virus in Irish crops are cereal aphids. Um, so the aphid number uh, for cereal crops are a good guide for spraying in potato crops to target insecticides. And particularly in ware crops, uh, virus is not going to have much of an infection where good healthy certified seed has been used. So uh, in following the principles of IPM, insecticides in ware crops should really only be used when very, very high aphid numbers are present.